everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today, August and I will be decorating our house for Halloween. Right now, he's raking the leaves and I'm gonna pull out the decorations. <laughs> So glad that we didn't get rid of any of our Halloween decorations during the move because we have so many of them. I mean, we have these candy buckets, we have some fake pumpkins. I even see my favorite pumpkin lights. I don't think I used them last year, but I definitely want to use them this year. All right, let's see what else we have. This box was super heavy, but I found the rest of our stuff. It brings back so many fun memories of everything that happened last year. We did do a bit of shopping at some of the stores, and I got this really cute pumpkin mat that I'm gonna put in the front of the house. And we have the tabletop pumpkins, and my favorite part, the inflatables. Kayla, I'm all done. Did you find all the decorations? Just in time because yes, I did. We still have a lot from last year. I'm thinking we should put up the inflatables first because those take the longest. Here, I'll grab them. Just tell me where you want them. Okay, so we have placed our inflatables down. We got this really cool candy corn inflatable and it was like new in stores, so of course we had to get it. And if we head towards the front of the house, we're gonna put the pumpkin inflatable, which is my personal favorite, uh, right over here towards the driveway. This next one is my favorite one. Okay, well, let's go show it to them. So August's favorite inflatable is right over here and it's the ghost inflatable. So it's gonna be right at the front of the house. And I love that it's a cute ghost, not a spooky one. Cause you know, we still have Livy and you know, she's still pretty young. We don't wanna scare her to death. And honestly, I don't like spooky decorations too much, but I love all the colors. Everything is gonna look so good. It's the perfect spot. I completely agree. And I love the contrast of the greens and the browns and the orange tones. It just looks really good. We did change the colors of our shutters to match the fall theme. So right now they're linen, of course. And the flowers in the window planters turned orange and they're so pretty. But okay, let's go ahead and inflate these inflatables. This man is so goofy. This looks so cute. Oh my goodness, it's way taller than both of us. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and inflate the next one. It's what you do. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is my favorite one ever. But actually, I really want to see what the candy corn one looks like. It looks just like me. You know, you're not wrong. You do look like a big pumpkin. <laughs> okay, let's grab this pump and head over to the last one. This one's gonna be real cute. You set my wheels in motion. Now this looks like you. All flat. I told you at the fall festival, don't ever play me like that. I'm not even, I'm not even flat. Leave me alone. Anyways, it's not about me. This is about the inflatable. And this one is so cute. It's bright, it's colorful, and I like it. Um, Next, I need you to take your ladder and put up the lights for me because I'm not falling off the roof. So you want me to fall? No, I want you to be careful, sweetie. Good luck. I'll be watching you from down here, okay? Okay, fine. 
I just love my husband. Okay, so August is putting up the lights and the banners for me. We thought that would be a nice little touch as well. But we have all of our pumpkins that we got from the Fall Festival by Robilt. If you missed that video, it'll be linked in the eye in the corner. It was so much fun. We went with the entire family. But um, yeah, we have all of our pumpkins. Adrian is here too because we're gonna have like a little pumpkin carving party and i cannot wait for that but of course we have to decorate the house first and oh i know what else i want to do let me not get tangled up in all these strings and wires but i want to change the color of these pillows on the deck to make them more fall themed because i do want to decorate like this entryway as well as the dining room but I'm not gonna go too crazy with the indoor decorations because it's just a bunch of stuff I have to clean up later. I do want to get rid of this dusty um, welcome mat and put the pumpkin one in. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I put the pumpkin mat down and it is so cute. And I also grabbed this wreath and I really like the little fall touch. I also changed the colors of the pillows. So I switched these out for green ones. It's like a nice little sage green. And then over here, I know it's kind of hard to see. You could see it better with the fireplace on, um, which we're gonna be using a lot this fall and winter. But um, we have like this dark orange color and this nougat color. Please be careful up there, Augie. I do not want you falling. Oh my goodness. <gasps> These lights and banners look so cute. I'm good. Yeah, I'll hold the ladder when you come down just in case. Look at this. I see it. It even looks good from this angle too. I like that you only put the lights right here because otherwise I feel like it would be too much way too much this is coming together so nicely we do not need a trip to the emergency room that would not be good nice and easy there you go oh thank you so much for your help i see we have some leftover banners um maybe you can go put them by the garage anytime i'll go do that right now okay thank you it's starting to get a bit chilly i can go inside and make us a nice fall tree i feel like we both deserve it Ooh, i can can use that right now okay i'll go get started i'll see you in a bit all right so let me go in and make a treat for us i'm not sure what um but i did pick up some new recipes off of pinterest so i'll see what i can come up with i think i'll stick to the basics today and just make some quick pumpkin cookies you can never go wrong with these These are gonna be perfect. All right, let me throw these in the oven. And I think we also need a warm drink too. So let me head over here and I'll make us both a pumpkin spice cappuccino. So there's one and there's two. And the cookies are now done. Okay, so I need to carefully carry this tray outside. Um, August? Where are you? Are you on the roof again? Oh, whoa, that looks really good. Ta-da! Looks like you finished just in time because I brought out the treat. So come on down so we can enjoy them together. Cause I'm starving. And you're probably gonna have to clean the gutters out cause there's a lot of leaves up there already. But we'll worry about that later. Let's go enjoy these on the porch. I can do that tomorrow. Okay, awesome, thank you. All right, let's go. Actually here, I can give you your drink now. It's a pumpkin spice cappuccino, a recipe I got from Pinterest. So let me know what you think about it. There's even like a little picture of a jack-o'-lantern. It's so cute. It's made out of the foam. I see it. <gasps> we can turn on the fireplace and we can just relax over here. Now give me some of those cookies. I hope they're good. Mmm, this drink just warms me up inside. The good old pumpkin cookie. Okay, we don't want to spend too much time relaxing because we still have a lot more decorating to do. So, like I said, I still want to do something with these pumpkins. Maybe we can arrange them nicely over here. I also want to do something with the entryway as well. 
So we're gonna try to work a lot faster and we'll show you guys the end result when we're done. Okay, so a couple hours later and we have finally finished decorating our house for Halloween. So we're gonna show you. So when you first walk up, we have the ghost inflatable, we have our family's pumpkins, and of course we have our covered porch with the banners and the pumpkin lights. We decided to hang up some of these ghosts because they are just too cute. And there is the fall wreath on the front door. Over here we have our lounging area, as well as our fireplace, and it's such a beautiful view. And then once we go through the front door, again we have the pumpkin mat, which is really cute. And we decided to decorate the entryway, so here's what it looks like. So here's the entryway display table. We put some pumpkins on the stairs, we have a happy pumpkin man and Charlie's bed because we do not know where he's at. That man has not been in the videos. So go ahead and close the door, August. It's really cold outside. And now if we head over here to the dining area and the kitchen, we didn't go too crazy, but I think it looks really nice and matches the house aesthetic i didn't want it to change up everything too much we have a couple more banners as well as the dining table i changed the color of the chairs to be brown and we have some tabletop pumpkins there's a little ghost in the corner we replaced the um fruit bowl to be a candy bowl and i have some more pumpkins right over here i think it looks amazing me too. I'm glad we didn't go too crazy on the inside because, again, that's just a lot more stuff that we have to clean up in just a few weeks. Because if we think about it, October is already almost over. It's going by so fast. But let's go through the garage so we can see the um, inflatables one more time. We put the leftover Halloween decorations back. That's asking for bad problems right there. We're of course gonna bring out the candy buckets when it's time to go trick or treating and such with the kids. But for now, they can stay over there. And we have the candy corn inflatable. Again, this is a new item. And the last one is this pumpkin one. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention that we have a scarecrow here. Okay, everyone. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And comment down below and let us know if you've decorated your plot for Halloween. And with that being said... I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.